Here we have a standard checkpoint management station and firewall. Policies are pushed from the management station and received from the firewall. These logs, however, only provide information about the network connections the firewall has processed. No information about the state of the firewall itself. So we're going to build a Ubuntu server, install Prometheus and Grafana. We then will take the data from Checkpoint CP View, which provides health information about the firewall, and send that information to the Prometheus database. The Grafana data visualization tool will convert this into a graphical web interface, giving us graphs and other statistics about the box. All of the commands for this video will be made available in this instructions file on my GitHub page. Link will be in the description. Once your Linux server is up and running, run the following commands, sudo apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade. This will update your Linux repositories and any software you have running. Once that's completed, we're going to paste the command wget and then the URL for the Prometheus software. This will then be downloaded onto your system and we'll go through the processes to install this. Now these commands can be copied over from the GitHub page. They will add a certain level of permissions, create certain directories, but ultimately these are the simple steps that are needed to install Grafana. Again, all the instructions are going to be in this file, which is on my GitHub page, link in the description. Once all those commands have been copied across, we'll be able to launch the Prometheus service. It is now ready to receive logs from an external source, which will ultimately be our firewall. Now head over to your browser, type in the IP address of your Prometheus server with the port 9090. If everything is running correctly, the web interface for the Prometheus service will be shown here. Unfortunately, with this method, the Prometheus service will not start on boot, so we need to make a few changes to ensure that it can survive a reboot. So we're going to use the touch command to create a file called prometheus.service, and then we're going to use the vi command to edit that file and paste the contents from the instructions page. Now, if you're not sure the version of Prometheus that you're running, you can just run a list on the Prometheus directory, and then you can spot there the version of installer that you have in place. Now, a second file that needs to be modified is the prometheus.yaml file. So locate the YAML file, and to the bottom of it, add the following instructions. This will enable that remote write receiver, ensuring that the Prometheus server can receive logs from an external source. Now we're going to use the systemctl commands to reload that particular service, the daemon that's running. We're then going to start the Prometheus service and we're going to use the status command to check to make sure everything's running. Now we use the final command, which is systemctl enable Prometheus, and that will ensure that the system can survive a reboot. So we quickly reboot that system and we run that status command again on the Prometheus service. And we can see that after the reboot, the Prometheus service is running in the background. One last check, we'll head back over to the Windows machine, refresh that page, and again, great, we can see the web interface is up and available. Now over to the Grafana configuration. Again, we use the wget command to download a copy of the Grafana installation. And we can copy and paste those commands from the instruction file to ensure we set everything up. Now I ran into this particular problem where I tried to install the Grafana Debian file and I ran into this error. So if you get this, it's not necessary. If it runs perfectly for you, continue. If not, run the command here, which is sudo apt fix broken install. And that seems to fix the Linux repositories. And once you run the installation command again, everything should work perfectly. Not entirely necessarily for everyone, but maybe a problem you may run into. Now that's running, we're going to set up the Grafana service to be installed as a service. Again, so this will survive a reboot. Head back over to the browser, and this time using the port 3000. If everything is working correctly, you will get the Grafana interface. The username and password is admin admin, and it will request afterwards that you change the password. So we quickly just do that. And we have our Grafana server 
up and running. The next thing we need to do is head over to the Checkpoint Knowledge Base article and download a copy of the Grafana dashboards. These will be uploaded into the Grafana interface and will ensure that we have a pre-configured and a pre-designed interface to represent and display all of the data from the Checkpoint firewalls. Once downloaded, uncompress the files and there are a number of different options available. Today we're just going to do the single machine Now, before we import the dashboards, we need to go over to our data sources and we need to point the Grafana server towards the Prometheus server. Now, this has automatically picked this particular data source up because both Grafana and Prometheus are installed on the same Linux server. However, if they were installed on different servers, instead of the local loopback adapter here, you would place the IP address of your remote Prometheus server. Click Save and Test, and if everything is configured correctly, you'll get a little green tick. Once that's done, we're able to head back to our dashboard, go over to dashboards, click new, import, and we're gonna upload that JSON file that we extracted earlier. We're gonna start with single machine. Then under Prometheus, select the data source we just edited and click import. And there we see all of our pre-configured dashboards ready to receive data from a checkpoint firewall. At the point of recording this, in December 2022, the only supported version is R81.10 with the hotfix Take79. The base build of R81.20 does not support this integration. Future support will come in later hotfixes. So head over to your firewall and log in with expert mode. Create a file using the touch command called payload no tls.json and we're going to edit that file with the vi command. and paste from the instructions file the following payload data. Under the section where it says URL, replace the X's with the IP address of your Prometheus server, and then save those changes. Run this last command to copy the information from the payload file we've created into the OpenTelemetry configuration. OpenTelemetry is the module that sends the information from the firewall to the Prometheus server. So we can now see this is working. This means that the OpenTelemetry module on our firewall is exporting data to the Prometheus server and the Grafana is taking the information from the Prometheus database and displaying it in this graphical format. Here we can see things like CPU and memory utilization as well as specific information such as our Gaia OS and the last policy installation time. If I add some load to this particular firewall module, I can see that the CPU and RAM utilization increase very quickly and that this system refreshes every five seconds, giving us an almost real-time representation of how that particular firewall is performing. Hopefully this tutorial has been useful and will help you integrate your checkpoint firewalls into your Prometheus and Grafana installations. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And as always, thank you for watching.